After working as a journalist, Oki Ardia became a freelance photographer, documenting topics of gender, human rights, and lately, migrant issues. She was one of two visiting photographers at the time of setting up our exhibition. When I applied, when I applied my projects for this exhibition with the theme community, um, I was thinking that uh, community, we often think that community is like a, a, a communal, communal with a lot of people. So, uh, but at some point, um, I found I'm doing this like more than like five years. So, uh, at some point, yeah, our society stigmatized them as a migrant workers, and also when they are undocumented, so we just put them in a lower class. Um, they are uneducated because they come from a rural village. They are very poor, so they already stigmatized. So it means like when they're trying to apply for a job opportunities, they're not just only migrant workers. Uh, same as level with the visitors. They are women, they are a mother, they are a daughter. So I think this is why it's very important how to engage them through this postcard. Uh, so um, this photo, I took this photo uh, in Malaysia. Uh, actually, it's it's Wagira, Ira story. Ira is Ira is um, working legally, initially working legally uh, as a migrant workers, as a domestic workers in Malaysia. But uh, Along, like after working, after she had been working like uh, six months, uh, the employer start uh, sexually arrest her. So she decided to run away. And then when she decided to run away, she become like a illeg illegal, we call it undocumented. Uh, so it comes with a lot of problems. Uh, I've been working with her for almost like uh, three years. So I'm trying to trace back uh, where did it happen, about the apartment and the situation. So. This repression actually, uh, it means a lot, it's not only just a building because it's really connected with the era. Uh, the first time he got uh, sexually abused or sexually arrested by uh, her employee. This one, I took, I took this uh, in East Nusa Tenggara, East Nusa Tenggara um, which is a very highest statistic about human trafficking issue and then there's a lot of Undocumented migrant workers came from the East Nusa Tenggara, and then uh, within a year, there are within one year, there are like uh, more than like 70, 70 people, uh, 70 migrant workers. They came back in a coffin. I always believe that uh, everything is not taken for granted because uh, sometimes um, to to produce uh, a photos which is very emotionally touched, um, it takes, it's, it doesn't make sense if you're just taking photos because uh, it's not fair, uh, because you cannot, otherwise you just like uh, other photographers taking for granted. So that's the way I think it's more important when you engage with the subject. That's the best thing as a, as a photographer I'm doing them, giving them that dignity that you are in the same level as me, as other, as visitors in this exhibition as well. How pertinent Oki's work, it is shown in a recent article published in South China Morning Post newspapers, which talks of migrant workers and children as young as four, rounded up by Malaysian police and immigration officers and imprisoned under the excuse of protection from COVID-19, just two days after the government publicly announced that migrants have nothing to fear in the process of testing for virus and laxing of the lockdown measures.